Hello YouTubers, I am back to update you on my lower body lift, arm lift, and fat transfer to butt. It has been three weeks as of yesterday since my surgery. I am back home now. I was so bored in the hotel. Um, I guess the main thing I'm going through right now is just um, trying to be patient and accepting and uncomfortable. <laughs> I guess I didn't really realize like how long this type of surgery really like knocks you down. Um, I am mobile. I can get up and walk around, but for the most part, I'm still just sitting. I'm actually sitting in a um, shower chair right now because it's a better height for me to sit in than my um, actual couch. Um, sleeping is still somewhat uncomfortable. I build like a little cocoon out of pillows. Um, but I wake up quite a few times during the night being uncomfortable. Um, but everything's healing really well. My incision looks great. Um, I'm praying, and I hope you guys are praying for me, and I'm knocking on wood that I don't get any um, openings. Right now, um, I believe between like three and five weeks is generally when people get openings, so I'm just praying it doesn't happen to me. Um, so far, I think everything looks really good, and I hope that it doesn't. Um, what have I been going through? Um don't really have much of an appetite, but I eat because I know it's important for my recovery. Um, I've been trying to eat good, um, eating good protein, eating fruits and vegetables, eating nuts, um, trying to stay away from processed foods, gluten, dairy, all that sort of stuff. Um, what else? It's pretty boring. Not a whole lot to update on. Um, like I said, the only thing I just didn't really realize, like, how long I was going to be disabled. Um, I was joking with my fiance and uh, Mary Posa that I wish I actually had like a handicap sticker to put on me so people knew that I was just like going through something and I wasn't normally this way. Um, it's three weeks out and I'm still hunched over when I walk. Um, my arm, this is the one I mentioned gave me a little bit of a problem. Um, it sits down at my body a little bit better, but I, it's still definitely obvious. You know, a lot of times I have it out like this. It just kind of sits like that right now. Um, but I imagine it'll go back down to my side eventually. Um, as far as, um, something I saw on a website that I go on, somebody was talking about they had increased restriction after their tummy tuck. Um, I'm actually experiencing the same thing. Um, like I mentioned, I don't really want to eat. I haven't had much of an appetite, but I have been because I know it's important. However, um, when I do eat, it's not the same as like the restriction I had when I first got my sleeve. It's almost like I can feel my stomach like trying to push out and I'm probably swollen on the inside. So something's like pushing back. So it's a different kind of restriction, but it's definitely limited the amount of food I can eat. Um, it's a little bit frustrating because being, oh, as of yesterday, I was officially three years out from my weight loss surgery. I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, it's kind of frustrating to me because being three years out, like I know exactly how much I can eat. So I always portion it in my bowl or my plate. Or if I go out to a restaurant, I know exactly what I'm going to eat. Um, it's frustrating to me when I like have the food that I'm used to eating and I can't eat it. You know, now I'm not in a position where I'm trying to lose weight. I'm perfectly fine with maintaining where I'm at. Um, so being restricted on my food is actually a little bit annoying. So, um, but I won't complain. You know, I don't want to ever go back to the point I was at. So I definitely won't complain. Um, what else has been going on? Um, I am one of those people that when I watch these videos, I'm really just watching to see the person's um, stomach or arm or whatever they had done. So I am finally going to show you um, my stomach. I am very, very swollen. I'm actually more swollen now than I was a week ago. So I'm hoping that the swelling subsides around six weeks. That's when I hear it's supposed to subside. Um, but what I'm going through right now is I think what they refer to as swell hell. Um, very swollen. Um, yesterday and the day before I started getting something new to where, um, I actually feel like my skin is burning. It's not horrible. Nothing I went through has been intolerable. It's all tolerable. It's just very uncomfortable at times. Um, and it's kind of like, I've never had kids, but I kind of imagine this is what it's like when you're pregnant around the eight or nine month mark. Like there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to wait it out. Um, but it's very, a frustrating physical position to be in. And that's how I am. Like I just wish it was over. I just wish I was better, but there's nothing I can do except for wait and give my body time to heal. So it's, it's a very frustrating position to be in. Um, so, so for those of you that are pregnant eight or nine months along and you're just ready to pop, I totally understand you. Cause I feel like that now I'm just ready to heal. Um, so if that makes any sense, I don't know. Anyways, let me show you guys my stomach. 
I've been wearing like the same two outfits. So when I show you guys some pictures later or vid another video I took earlier, um, I'm probably wearing the same outfit because I only have a couple outfits that uh, don't squeeze my waist or my arms. But anyway, let me show you. And this is three weeks post lower body lift with Dr. Aga. My compression garment I wear every single day. So there's my belly so far. Belly button looks good. This here... This is uh, the uh, maxi pads I told you about that I use to protect my incision line. I'm not going to undo that right now. So, yeah, I'm really trying to be very safe with everything, um, using fresh towels, fresh wasp cloths, um, fresh maxi pads as my liners every single day, washing my hands before I touch it, putting alcohol on any tool that touches me, um, just being very careful with anything having to do with my incision line. Um, you know, it's a, it's, even though we see a lot of people doing these surgeries because we're in the community where people are losing weight and having to do this type of surgery, like never forget like how serious these type of operations are and how serious you have to take your, your aftercare and your recovery. So um, my arms, I showed you guys last week, they're pretty much the same. Um, I'm getting a lot more mobility. I had a hard time kind of reaching up. This one doesn't reach up as well, but I have full faith that it will eventually. So um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any specific questions, just let me know, and I'll try to talk about it in another video. Bye-bye. Oh, I did remember one more thing. Um, everybody always talks about when they get home from a tummy tuck or plastic surgery that they weigh a ton more than they did before. Um, I actually did not weigh myself the first couple weeks. Um, a couple reasons. One, like... I don't let the scale rule my life at all. Um, I, in the past, used to step on it every single day. I know it can ruin my day if I'm not in the right mindset. So I've gotten to a point where it doesn't bother me. However, I know that there's times when I shouldn't step on it. For instance, after a holiday and I have went to my family and I've eaten a lot of food, I probably won't step on the scale for two or three days just because I know it's going to be up and there's no reason to stress myself out when I know that returning to my regular eating habits is going to bring me back down. With that said, I didn't step on the scale the first couple weeks after my plastic surgery because I knew the number was probably going to be up. Um, going into the surgery, I weighed 155, which I've weighed that for well over a year now. Um, almost a little over two weeks in, I asked Mary Poza to bring her scale to my hotel so I could weigh myself. And ironically, I weighed 155.4, which is almost what I think exactly what I weighed at my house, 155.4. Um, so I don't know if, um, I don't know if I weighed more at any point because of the swelling. I don't know if that number actually reflects some of the swelling that I have going on right now. I've heard people say that they come home from the hospital weighing 20 pounds more, even though the doctor took off 10 pounds of skin. Um, so, I wasn't really too concerned with what that number was going to say. Um, the last couple of days I've actually been uh, 153 when I did check. So um, I don't know how much the doctor took off. Um, he has to listen to his notes during the surgery to figure it out. He estimated it was going to be eight pounds worth of skin and some fat. Um, so once I find out from him, I will find out. I will post you guys um, that information. I also um, had him take a picture of my excess skin that he removed. So I will post that in another video. Um, but it is kind of graphic, and I've never been grossed out by so that sort of thing before, but it's a little bit different when you're looking at your own skin and fat. So it did gross me out a little bit, but um, I will show that in another video, but I will warn you before I show it in case anybody doesn't want to see something like that. So um, anyway, that's all that's going on with me. So you guys get two kisses today because I already said goodbye once, so bye-bye.